everyone, and welcome back to Pokefilm Productions. We are back with our Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. So, last time we left off, we had Walrus trying to do some commentary. Not sure how much you appreciated it. I did some editing with the video to make it as optimal as possible to view. Um, so I'm sure you guys are probably glad that uh, Merc the Shirk and I are going to be doing most of the commentary from now on. With Walrus maybe doing a couple episodes down the line, but mm, I don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and check out our Pokemon. Uh, so we got uh, a Ralts with an interesting name. Uh, we got Nick the Mankey. We got um, Maddie the Smoochum. We got Horny the um, Nidoran. And we got Weasel the... Uh, Zigzagoon. So, this is a very interesting team. Uh, not what I would consider conventional by any means. Um, our Ralts has run away. Bye. Interesting. So we're just going to go ahead and heal our Pokemon up. I think we are probably going to go ahead and put some of these Pokemon into the PC because I don't really think we'll we should use them at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and move our Ralts into the PC. And we're also going to go ahead and move Weasel into the PC. Did you use a cup for like one minute? Hmm? Two cup for like one minute. So now that we got these guys into our PC box, we're just going to go ahead and, and go back to our adventure. We are heading into Viridian Forest at the moment, I believe. So we're going to go check our Pokemon. So we're going to lead with Nick because he's our lowest level and I feel like he deserves just a tad bit of training. So we are going to go ahead and go into Viridian Forest and see what we are going to encounter. Let's see what it is. I really hope it's a Wurmple. And it's an Oddish. Okay, this should be an interesting addition to our team. It's doing more damage than I would hope hope it would have done. Um, keeps on absorbing me. I think we should be okay. Okay. Did 8 damage. Now, we don't have Pokeballs. It seems that last episode, uh, Walrus had forgotten to pick up Pokeballs, so we're going to go ahead and head back and go ahead and get some Pokeballs. Because that is definitely something we cannot be without... I think we're going to heal first as well. That would be our best option at the moment. So we're going to go head out, head right into that Pokemart, and we will get some Pokeballs. So we're going to get, eh, I think we'll go with five. That's really all we need. How many potions? Okay, we can't really. If we already have, we have five potions in our bag. I'm going to go ahead and get an antidote as well. I think maybe one more. And then I think a Paralyze Heal as well. I think that would be our best course of action considering where we are headed. So unfortunately, we because I forgot to check for Pokeballs, we do not get our encounter in the Viridian Forest. Tear, tear, cry, cry. Tear, tear, cry, cry. So we're just going to continue on, maybe battle some people. I'm going to avoid that Paralyze Heal. I don't really need it. So we're going to battle this guy. He's got a Weedle. All right, we can we can play against a Weedle. He's just string shot us at this point. It's a ah, poisoned. Okay. Well, I'm glad we bought. I'm glad we bought uh, some antidotes. I don't. I pound used pound there. Apparently, I forgot I did. I I wasn't paying attention. So Caterpie can't hack it. No, Caterpie does not know how to use computer nor knows how to access restricted content on. A computer. So no, Caterpie cannot hack it, even though we have terrible computers in the Pokemon world. I mean, have you seen that thing? Have you seen that thing that you have in the room? We got another antidote to pick up. We're going to go ahead and battle this guy. You can't jam out a Pokemon trainer. Bugcatcher, Doug, he's going to have a Wurmple. This guy knows what he's talking about. Wurmple is great. Wurmple is wonderful. Poisoned again, really. All right, so we're going to finally get Nick up to level 9, and he's going to send in a Silcoon. I think we're going to be okay against it. it nope, it's going to be a long, drawn-out battle. So I think we're going to have to go into Maddie. 
and she is going to have to do some powerful stuff with the powder snow and kill it in one hit because ice, I believe, is good against bug. I don't recall. Not really. Maybe it's just strong? Okay, so it doesn't look like it wasn't super effective. Uh, so we'll just kill this Cascoon really easily. Maddie, nearly at level 10 right there. So we're going to use an antidote on Nick and give him a potion as well because the dude's been doing some hard work and he's taking a bit of wear and tear so we need to be a nice trainer so i might be little but i don't like it if you go easy on me please stop playing that sorry like, sorry merc the shark was playing on mitomo and it played in the background so we're just gonna go ahead and scratch this metapod and it is gonna go down and we are also gonna do the same thing for the kakuna although it's going to be a long and worn long and drawn out battle from the looks of it. Oh well. And one more hit and we should be done. Nick is at level 10 as well. Think we're good there. So, think we're gonna go into Maddie and she is going to lead the way for us continuing on. We're gonna go up against an Oddish that we could have caught but we sadly didn't. And Oddish got frozen. Nice. Uh, we're going to pound it, and we are going to get up to level 10. And Maddie is our starter Pokemon. I think she deserves to be the highest level, so we're going to keep her in front. We're going to Powder Snow this Venonat, do about half damage. We're going to freeze it, but it immediately thaws out, and we get a little more. And then we're going up against an Inkata. Thankfully not a Shedinja, because then we would be absolutely dead. And a Surskit. We're just going to Powder Snow, uh, not very effective, but we do get a freeze off on that. Then we're just Pound over and over. Please don't interp interpret that in an interesting way. And we're going to go up to level 11. And we're got, we have gotten Confusion, that is good. An Ice and Psychic Pokemon deserves to have a Psychic-type move as well as an Ice-type. We're just going to Powder Snow this Caterpie, completely destroy it. We're going to go up against mm, Metapod. I think we're just going to run. And then this bug catcher, Sammy, is going to send into Paris. We don't have time for any Paris. So we, oh, paralyzed, okay. And scratch. And we're just going to confuse it one more time. And it will be dead. So we're going to go ahead and give it a paralyzed heal. Because we have been paralyzed. Good thing I bought one. Then that looks... So we've already got an encounter on Route 2, being our Ralts, I believe. So we are now in Pewter City. We're going to go ahead and heal, because I think today is going to be gym day. It, I, I got a feeling that this is going to be a pretty, pretty good gym match. Just going to go ahead. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Famous, famous quote. Oh, it's against an Aeron. This should be... This should make things interesting. Okay. Uh, we will just go ahead into Nick. Nick is going to tackle, and we will low sweep that thing, and we it is going to go down. Uh, ground type. Is ice good against ground, or is ground good against ice? I do not recall. I think ice is good against ground. I, Merc to Shark says ice is good against ground, so we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and send in Maddie. She's going to powder snow the sand shrew, and it is going to go down... And we are going to go up to level 12 on that. Nose pass, yes, we should probably change back into Nick, who is going to be able to low kick this thing. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, and we go up to level 11 and get Karate Chop. So now we can hit Rock-type Pokemon really hard that are on the lighter side. And I think, guys, we are pretty much set to go up against Brock. Maybe give Nick a little bit more HP. But, yeah, let's go for it. That's Drainer's Honor that comes to tell me, show me your best. Well, I brought my best, Brock. I brought the only thing I got. So, we're going to just Powder Snow this Geodude, and it is going to survive it. Wow. And Maddie falls to a rock thing. Great. So, we're going to send in Nick. Um, we're going to Karate... He super potions, of course. We're going to Karate Chop this Geodude and make it dead. Vulpix. Okay. Oh, he did have a Vulpix in the anime, so that he has six Pokemon. I did not know that. And he uses a Substitute. Interesting. Interesting. 
Well, I think the best thing to do would be going to Nick here. And Kabuto. Okay, we can take this thing out. And Nick falls. Well, we're doing great. And we just lost. Eh. Yeah. We've done so well. And there falls three Pokemon. Well, all right then. So we're going to go ahead and move. Goodbye, Maddie. Goodbye, Horny. And goodbye, Nick. Oh, we have to move in Ralts. Okay. And goodbye, Nick. I think we are going to have to end this episode on a very, very sad note, with the only thing remaining being Ralts and Weasel. Oh, crap. So, Merc to Shirk is going to have a lot of fun training these guys up next episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke, brought to you by Pokefilm Productions. My name is Phoenix, and I will hopefully see you in the next video.